Hello and herzlich willkommen. I'm Ashley Foster of Vislaw Dog Training Center. In the first episode of IP Observations, I talked about the elegance of IPO as a deep and comprehensive test for working dog breeds, particularly German Shepherds for whom the test was created. While you could easily dedicate your entire life to exploring the IPO universe, IPO is only one test in a broad spectrum of complementary qualifications that, when taken together as was intended, have come to define the German Shepherd dog. In this sense I like to think of IPO as a core subject, like maths, English or science, in the German Shepherd curriculum. Even though this episode is called the German Shepherd Curriculum, I'm aware that different breeds also have a variety of breed-specific tests. Suffice to say, most large working breeds will probably share a similar system, albeit tailored to their specific needs, to the one I want to briefly outline. It's just that I'm more familiar with German Shepherds than any other breed, so that's what I'm going to talk about just for today anyway. While IPO can be a standalone qualification, it was originally intended to be taken as part of a battery of tests to judge whether a German Shepherd dog is suitable for breeding by the SV. The SV being the German German Shepherd Club in Germany, a kennel club devoted entirely to the preservation and promotion of the national breed. So how does one go about proving that their German Shepherd is suitable for breeding in the German SV system? The foundation test available to the dog once it has reached 15 months of age is the Begleithundprüfung, meaning Traffic Shore Companion Dog Test, or BH. The BH is extremely important to the German Shepherd curriculum, as it acts as a gateway to IPO and other further qualifications, obstructing any dogs who are unsuitable for work, including dogs that show an unstable, unsociable, weak, nervous or fearful character, general unwillingness or inability to work, and even undesirable training methods if the dog shows a negative relationship with its handler. The BH consists of a simple routine similar to IPO on obedience, with added elements such as safely moving through a dense crowd of strange people, a sociability test with other strange dogs, and traffic tests including walking past moving vehicles, cyclists and joggers on a road. Dogs that pass the BH have shown that they are strong, stable characters who are under control while sharing a good working relationship with their handlers. It maintains the integrity of IPO and other dog sports, barring irresponsible owners and dangerous dogs at the first hurdle. Upon successfully meeting the requirements of the BH, the dog is then permitted to take full advantage of a range of qualifications on offer in the German Shepherd curriculum, including IPO, confirmation shows, agility, herding tests, search and rescue tests, advanced tracking, obedience and probably other stuff that I'm not even aware of. The fun thing about the German Shepherd curriculum is that you can choose to focus on one particular element that interests you or try a bit of everything. However, to receive the certificate of approval for breeding from the SV, a qualification called a Kurung, meaning license in English, a German Shepherd must meet a minimum prerequisite standard with three contrasting qualifications before the dog can be considered for the Kurung. The first of these is the Auster Prüfung, meaning endurance test or AD, a 12 mile endurance run for the dog guided along by their handler who is usually riding a bicycle, under the supervision of an SV judge who monitors the dog's condition throughout. If the dog shows signs of excessive fatigue, distress or lameness at any time during the test, they will be disqualified. Passing an AD shows that the dog has a minimum level of fitness for work and reflects the German Shepherd's original function as a herding animal, requiring the endurance to circle their flock in a protective perimeter for extended periods or driving herds over long distances. Distances. Next, the dog must prove its worth in both form and function by passing a confirmation show qualification, with a minimum standard of good, as well as IPO1, the most basic IPO test. Once the dog has passed its AD, IPO and show qualifications, it can then be examined by the Kurmeister, a respected SV judge who is tasked with critiquing every single aspect of the German Shepherd, and by every single aspect I mean every single aspect, with the aim of promoting and preserving the German Shepherd breed and all of its best qualities. The attributes a Kurmeister considers during a Kurung are things like hip and elbow scores, height, weight, stability of character, sensitivity to environment, movement, general conformation, condition, teeth, testicles, unless it's a female. Female German Shepherds don't have testes, or so I have read. Pigment, bite work, obedience to handler, and a bunch of other stuff. The dog is then either disqualified or awarded one of two possible gradings. Kur class 2, meaning that the dog is an acceptable specimen for breeding, or Kur class 1, 
the SV's strongest recommendation of breeding, indicating to breeders which dogs exhibit the best attributes of a German Shepherd and should be used to produce future generations. And if that wasn't enough, the dog has to take their Kurung twice to keep the recommendation for life. All of this means that in Germany at least, a dog bred primarily for the show ring must show a minimum standard of health, endurance and work, whilst a dog bred primarily for work must meet a minimum confirmation standard to receive the Kurung recommendation of breeding from the SV. The SV system maintains the German Shepherd standard in Germany. Unfortunately, this standard isn't followed so stringently in many other countries, though in the UK we are just starting to see SV Kurung tests being held, enabling more of the show community to become involved in the working community and more of the working community to become involved in the show community. In conclusion, the German Shepherd curriculum gives you a huge variety of choice because the German Shepherd dog is such a versatile breed. A German Shepherd can potentially fulfil its role as a herding animal, serve in the military, customs, police, become a search and rescue dog, guide dog, participate in agility, competitive obedience, advanced tracking and so on. Like I said earlier, there's probably lots more to do that I don't even know about. But at the core of the German Shepherd curriculum, the equivalent of maths, English or science in our education system, are the fundamental tests the vast majority of the population are encouraged to attain basic proficiency in. These are the BH, establishing a stable and suitable character, the show ring, maintaining the form of the breed, and of course, IPO. So next time you look at a German Shepherd, even if it's just a pet, think on all the thought that originally went into creating that animal's ancestors and how the methods we practice now will influence future generations. This episode has been a bit of a diversion from IPO, but next time we're firmly back into IPO territory. I really appreciate all the feedback and suggestions people have been giving me so far in the comments, but I could always do with more so I can make improvements and target interesting topics. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel or like our Facebook page to get updates on future episodes. Thanks for the support so far, it's been awesome. Tschüss!